Hello, everyone. This is Felicia, and this is In My Travels. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, hopefully, uh, you guys uh, will show up. Wait a minute. I think I actually have one person in the room. If you can hear me, please give me a thumbs up in the chat just to make sure we um, went over sound check and everything uh, yesterday. But um, let's see. Hopefully, this will work this time. My name is Felicia, and I have created this channel. Uh, well, I created this, and uh, now I want to really focus on giving you value uh, through something that I love, really, really love to do. And actually, we've been doing this for almost, well, a year and a half, and that is house sitting. When I say we, I house sit with my husband, and we really love this incredible travel hack. I first um, heard about travel uh, or house sitting. I first heard about house sitting through a wonderful, wonderful black woman, black American woman. Her name is Stephanie Perry. She enlightened me as well as thousands of other black women about um, the joys of house sitting and how we could also house sit locally, nationally and internationally. And um, if you're asking, okay, you know, if this is your first time hearing about house sitting, house sitting is um, you agree to help a homeowner who is uh, in the process of traveling themselves or who, you know, they've scheduled to travel uh, somewhere, but without their beloved pet, which is, you know, I think pets are, you know, members of the family. And I think a lot of people who have pets view them as such. So what a house sitter does is that they take care of the animal and that could be a dog, a cat, a bird. Sometimes it's just um, uh, plants. You know, sometimes there's, you know, no specific being to take care of, but uh, the, the owner wants someone in their home. But Nine times out of 10, it's going to be an animal that you take care of. So the homeowner is entrusting you with the care of their home and most importantly, the care of their beloved pet or family member. Um, my husband and I, we love to house sit because um, this is how it all started for us. So Stephanie Perry, you know, check out her YouTube channel. And she actually also has a house sitter school or house sitting school where you can learn, um, you know, how to, I think she even provides a template of, you know, if you're not the best at writing, you know, glowing reviews <laughs> about yourself or, you know, really, really good at pitching yourself. I think this is a really good, um, I've heard that it's a really good template that you could use. Um, I didn't do it. I love to write, um, you know, myself. So I just did my own template as I apply for house sits, but we're getting ahead of ourselves. So, um, so what we do, we, we started house sitting because we both had decided, well, we think we want a pet of our own. Right. And so before we just, you know, went somewhere and, you know, went through the process of um, becoming pet owners, um, this wonderful thing called house sitting came along. And I said, wait a minute, you know, Stephanie is using this to, um, you know, travel the world and everything, but this could be a really great way to see if we are ready to take time out of our lives and our busy schedules to take care of an animal, you know, and in our case, it would have been, um, there's so much light in here. In our case, it would have been uh, a dog because I love dogs. I'm a little skittish sometimes with cats in the beginning, but cats are not a problem. I love cats as well. I think they're really cool. But um, so in the beginning, we use house sitting as a way to see, hey, are we ready to um, have a pet, a dog? And so as we began house sitting, uh, we found out, okay, yeah, it's really great having a dog, you know, um, after, you know, working long hours, we come home and we have this, you know, I call them babies. 
because that's the only baby I'm having, honey. Um, I'm not having any children. Uh, you know, that's another story, a story for another time. But um, so we found out, wow, okay, well, yeah, we could really do this. Oh, sorry about the sun. Hold on. That's a little bit better. Um, and then we also found out that sometimes, especially after a very long house sit, our longest house sit uh, so far has been uh, one month. That was fantastic. We actually had two dogs to take care of for that one month and it was amazing. But let me tell you, when it was time for us to come home, we loved being home, just us, no dogs or pets or you know other people's plants and land and everything to take care of. So um, uh, house sitting gives us a way to be of service to someone because house sitting is a form, it, it is service. You are providing a service uh, to a homeowner and to, of course, number one, the pet that you have uh, promised to take care of. I'm sorry, the sun is getting on my nerves. So number one, house sitting is a service. You are providing a service, so you have to be professional about this. This is not a way um, I know some people love to uh, kind of harp, well, not harp, maybe that's a harsh word. Some people really like to highlight, this is free accommodation, free accommodation uh, as you travel the world. And that's true, but to me, and for me and, and my husband, it's a way of number one, traveling, number two, being of service, to animals and their pet owners. So everybody wins. The homeowners and pet owners win because they hire us, uh, you know, two responsible adults who have really great experience with animals throughout our entire lives. And so they get that expertise in exchange. We get um, free accommodation. We get to also spend time with a new animal and get to learn about them. And we get to make their environment safe and comfortable while their uh, owners are away. So everybody wins, everybody wins. So um, it's just, I think it's the best travel hack ever. So, but what does that have to do with you? So let's say, okay, you're, you're ready to go. You know what house sitting is. You want to land that first house sit because um, someone told me the other day, and I'm not gonna out them or anything like that, but they said, you know, Felicia, I actually have a house sitting um, membership, but I have yet to use it. And in my head, I'm like, well, what are you waiting on? There are thousands of house sits, available house sits all over the world, and they need you, you know? What are you waiting on? So some people um, are a bit shy. Uh, some people are fearing rejection, but you can't, in my opinion, you can't fear rejection if you haven't even applied. So just apply. Now, how, you know, where do I apply? You know, you might be saying to yourself, well, my husband and I, we are um, members, we, our membership is through Trusted House Sitters. And the website is trustedhousesitters.com. And we do so well with, tr <laughs> with Trusted House Sitters is that um, we became uh, affiliate members. So uh, based on our house sitting reviews uh, and how much we talk to, you know, talk about how trusted house sitters with other people, they decided to give us um, a discount code for you and anyone who signs up um, through, you know, knowing us and, um, and all of that. Let me see, I think I see my, my husband coming back with, um, with the dog because we are on a house sit right now. And um, so that's what, that's the company that we house it through. We house it through uh, trusted house sitters. And I love it. I absolutely love it. 
Um, so let's talk about, it's been 10 minutes. So let's get into the nitty gritty of this video. How can I help you land your first house sit? Number one, you have to decide on which house sitting service you want to be a part of. I am, um, I book uh, my house sits through Trusted House Sitters. That's what we use. But if that's not something that you wanna do, there are other reputable house sitting services out there. I know some of them, but the one I like the most is the one that I'm using. So there. So um, it is a membership-based uh, company. So we, the house sitter, uh, we pay um, a yearly fee in order to have access to house sits all around the world. I mean, from Australia to, you know, wherever, you know, uh, Hawaii, you know, here in the States, it could be, you know, of course, North America, Europe, Eurasia, uh, et cetera. Um, you know, South America, no matter where. And also the homeowners have to pay their membership in order to have access to people like us, responsible people who love animals and new and, and who know how to take care of animals, voila, and who are responsible with homes because that is also a part of the job. You take care of the pet, you take care of the home while the homeowner is away. So let's get at it. So how do you land your first house sit? I'm gonna look down at my notes um, and just, this is just based on how we started, what I did and you know what we do. Number one, create a compelling profile. Com you know, create a compelling profile. What does that mean? Include photos, include photos of you, uh, you know, taking care of animals or, you know, you know, posing with, you know, you know, your could be your aunties or uncles, pets, or it could be your pets. You might be a, a pet owner yourself. Um, you know, include relevant experience. Uh, you know, how many years have you um, taken care of animals, cats, dogs, you know, which animals do you prefer? Uh, do you have any certifications like, you know, doggy CPR, et cetera? Because remember, you're going to have to apply to house sits. You have to apply to house sits in order to be chosen. I see a, a neighbor walking, <laughs> pushing their stroller with their baby, and uh, they just kind of looked into the house. Anywho, they can see me from the street. So that is number one, create a compelling profile. Number two, uh, another thing with the service that we use, everyone is background checked. Um, in this case, trusted house sitters, um, this is in the fee that we pay. Um, it's included the background check. So I guess trusted house sitters pays for some of it and then we pay for some of it with our membership. Um, and that's very important. So I wouldn't go, I would not sign up with a, um, tr a house sitting service if they did not offer uh, a background check. You have to know that the people that, you know, you're entering a total stranger's home, you have to know that they check out. And of course the homeowner has to know that you check out because we don't want any problems, right? I don't want any criminals in my home and they don't want any criminals in their home, especially not around their babies, right? And that's just, I mean, I, I think that's just common sense. Number, two, uh, number three, apply early and often. So remember, so let's, you know, uh, for example, usually I try to get houses in Paris. I used to live in Paris. I lived in Paris for a lot of years. And I wouldn't mind taking care of a pet, you know, in exchange for free accommodation in the city of Paris, right? I know the city, I know the language, I know the culture. I think it'd be really, really nice. But those are so hard to get. You have to apply and you have to be quick at applying. So if you are really, really set on, uh, 
let's say being in New York or being in London, there are a lot of house sits in uh, Great Britain because Trusted House Sitters is a British um, company, right? But as I said before, they have tons of house sits all over the world. So um, I set notifications. That's a really good hack, right? So if you are like, hey, I, my sister's getting married in X amount of months. I would love to have a house sit there because I don't want to pay for a hotel. Uh, I want to stay in the comfort of someone else's home while taking care of that person's pet and then go to my sister's wedding for a couple of hours and then come back. That's what you have to do. You have to apply and you have to apply often and you have to apply quickly. You have to set notifications. And, you know, as we go along, this might be a little series. Um, I can help you or I can show you how to do that. And this is my first live. So I'll, I'll learn about um, sharing my screen and all of that good stuff. Number four. So you apply. Let's say the person is like, hey, yeah, all right. You're one of the four people that we've chosen that we're interested in. <clears throat> so that means you have to meet and greet them. Um, I would say usually you're going to meet them and greet them via FaceTime or Zoom or whatever you know uh, you use. With us, it's FaceTime, and um, because we our first house sit was in Northern Virginia. I used to live in Alexandria and was actually in Alexandria, Virginia. So I'm not going to drive up there for a meet and greet. We just do FaceTime. Hello, technology. And so this is where you get to know, or you know, this is the best time for you to have your questions ready about the pet, about uh, possibly any medications that pet is currently taking, and how you uh, need to, you know, continue with that schedule. Uh, they're going to ask you questions. This is a meet and greet. They want to see if um, you give off a good vibe. They want to see, hey, I think this is the person um, that I want around my animal while I am away from from my pet. Right? It's you know we we we're both interviewing each other. I have to also see mm, uh, what kind of vibe. I get from this person. And this is also what I like to see. I like to sort of peep around uh, to see if they have a neat and tidy house. <laughs> because if they don't, um, I'm not going to sit there. You know, there, you know, it's a time for them to look you over and it's a time for you to look them over. And that is, uh, that happens uh, by asking questions. It's like a job interview. It is a job interview, except no money is being exchanged. That's another thing with houses. Now, I know people, there are services where you are paid to house it. The company that I use, no money is exchanged. So they're not hiring me, but they are hiring me and I will choose them as well. It's a job interview, except no money is being exchanged. So you have to have your questions ready, right? Um, one of the questions, and this is very important to me, and this it might be a me thing. You let me know if it's a you thing. Um, I'm very neat and tidy. I love having a lovely, beautiful home that is very, very clean and very tidy right? <laughs> this particular house sit, I, uh, you know, I love the people here. Uh, I love the dog. This is really my favorite client, really my favorite client. Um, I like to say he is the four legged love of my life. <laughs> I love this dog. And the home is so cozy. This has been the perfect day. Um, if you saw my, I went live, I believe earlier, just a YouTube, I did a YouTube short actually, and it was so gray and gloomy. It's been raining here and thundering.
for a couple of days and a couple of nights. Uh, and I love that weather. Right now, you wouldn't know. You know, it's, it's beautiful outside. So um, they, this particular family, they have a cleaning service. And when they know, uh, when, you know, when they contact me and say, hey, we're going out of town, can you and your husband come and take care of the, you know, the dog, you know, the house and everything. It's not even a question. I, nine times out of 10, we always say yes. Uh, and they are neat and tidy, just like us. So we get along just swimmingly, right? Um, and that's a question that I like to ask. Don't feel bad or awkward asking questions that will make you comfortable in that person's house during the house sit. So I love to ask whether that homeowner has a uh, cleaning service because when I begin a house sit or when we begin a house sit, I want everything to be spotless, clean, smelling fresh, the dog included, um, because it just makes it easier to just go in, unpack, hang up our clothes and start the job, which is making sure that everything is where it needs to be so that we can focus on the animal. That's it. And for the new clients, that is super important because I don't want to get there and just feel like, eh, you know, this house is messy and now I have to clean. And then, you know, it's, then I'm taking time away from the dog. You get the picture, right? That's a very important question to me. And um, I've only sat, or we've only sat, I think maybe one, one place that did not have a, a cleaning service, but the house was spotless. And, and this person um, assured us that when we get there, it's going to be spotless. And they kept their word. And the dog was great, nice and clean, and the sweetest dog. And that's going to be our next house sit. So we started this particular house sit right now, uh, last Friday. It ends Friday. We'll have two days. Um, and then we'll pack up again to start a new house sit. And I believe that one is a week as well. And then I think we're going to sort of chill. So that's number four, the meet and greet. Have your questions ready. Number five, be flexible with your dates. Now, our first international house sit uh, happened in August, August until September. And they wanted us, you know, we did the, the meet and greet via FaceTime, and they wanted us to come a day early. So that meant that we had to, um, now they did say that they, they would have allowed us to stay in the house with them, but they had, you know, all this packing and stuff to do with their children to get ready for their flights and everything the day after. So that meant that, oh, we had to arrive a day earlier. We had to get a little hotel or stay at an inn. Uh, this was in London, uh, a cute little hotel, not too far away from the house. It was okay. It was, it was fine. It was fine, but believe me when I tell you, I was so glad to get into that house that the house was absolutely the coziest house. Just if you want to live in London, that's how I want to live in London <laughs> with, with the house and the beautiful black Labrador. It was amazing. So be flexible with your dates. Number six, how do you start? Start local, start locally. That's what we did. And that's how you build up your clientele. You don't have to start out with, you know, going to another state or going to another country. To me, the easiest way and the quickest way to land that first house sit is to start locally. We did, it was in the old neighborhood where I used to live actually. <laughs> and come to find out, they actually met me at a party um, some years ago. And they were like, hey, wait a minute, haven't we met at a party? And then when I remember, I thought, oh my God, we did be at a party. So they gave us a house sit. It was easy to meet them because they were just, a, I would say a 15 minute walk from our house. So that was an in-person uh, meet and greet. 
And then they remembered us from the party. So they were like, yeah, there's no question. You, you guys, you guys are friends of our friends. So it's, it's fine. So that was really, really great. Start locally. And that way you can build up positive reviews. If they like you, if you've done a good job, you've left their home uh, nice and tidy, the cats, the dogs, everybody is, seems very happy. They give you those reviews. You get your five-star reviews. Then that leads to another house sit and another house sit and another house sit, which is exactly how it started for us. Um, and then uh, as you are being reviewed, you review the homeowner as well. You know, it's an even exchange. Everyone is getting critiqued. Um, everyone gets, you know, I would say everyone is, well, in my case, everyone is getting praised. Okay. <laughs> uh, we, we do a very good job. We take care of the pets that we have been entrusted to take care of. And I am someone, I love a cozy home environment. So you never have to worry about your house. Um, because I treat other people's homes the way I would want someone to treat my home. I'm going to leave it clean and sometimes cleaner than I left it. It's just a thing with me, right? Um, all of our houses uh, so far, knock on wood, I have a stack of books under me, uh, have been wonderful, immaculate, lovely homeowners from all walks of life, very interesting, very intelligent, um, just lovely people and the dogs and cats, we've had some cats, have been fantastic. Seven, the number seven, highlight your love of pets. Uh, I used to belong to a group and somebody actually asked, you know, do you have to like pets to be a house sitter? You do, because most of the time there's going to be a pet involved. So if you're someone who is skittish, don't do it. You're gonna be uncomfortable. The, the animal is gonna be uncomfortable in their own home. It's just not, it's just not good. So if you're not good with pets or you're, you're gonna be skittish or mm, just don't even do it. Do yourself a favor, don't do it. The animal will not be comfortable, nor will you. So the answer to that question, do you have to like pets in order to become a house sitter? My answer, in my opinion, is yes. Now, of course, if there, uh, if there isn't uh, a pet to take care of, you don't have anything to worry about. But nine times out of 10, when you are applying for house sits, a pet is involved. And it's just not fair to the pet, in my opinion. Number eight ask questions. Well, that was, you know, uh, we went over that a little bit. And I told you my thing is, is there a cleaning service? What time? Or, you know, somebody said, well, how would you say that question during the interview? I said, you know what? Um, oh, yeah. What time is your cleaning service? Do they come once a week or twice a week? And what time does the cleaning service uh, arrive? That's how you, you know, broach that question. That's how I do it. And I don't have any problems uh, asking any question. That's just me. <laughs> um, and I touched on this before, leave the person's house the way you would want to find your own house, right? Leave, I leave houses the way I found it. It's just, I don't know. I hope I'm not going, you know, uh, talking too much about a clean and tidy house, but it's very important to me because my house, you know, our uh, personal house, is always neat and tidy. I don't get uh, my house ready for company. I am the company. <laughs> that's that's the way I was raised. I, you know, I don't know, but um, yeah, it's just wonderful to go into a home and the dog, and it's just like you just focus on the dog, getting to know the dog, uh, going out for walks with the dog. I just like focusing on the animal and the the perk of it is that you get to stay in a lovely home, helping someone rest easy, knowing that myself and my husband, they're taking care, uh, taking great care of their pet. So there you go, folks.
that's how you land your first house it. Um, if you have any more questions, please let me know. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, it's Dr. Linda. Oh, Dr. Linda. Oh my gosh. Hi. I have one person that showed up to the live. Thank you, Dr. Linda. Hello. Hello. Um, yeah, just, you know, thank you so much for being here, Dr. Linda. And this is really officially my first live. I hope to God that the audio is working. Um, yeah, let me know. Um, yeah. So if I've given you value, please like this video, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to continue to talk about house sitting um, because someone just inspired me to house sit and it's changed how we view travel. It's changed how we um, just view ourselves as providing a service, providing ease for someone else as they help us travel with ease. And um, it's just a wonderful thing to do. It's try it. I guarantee you, if you start house sitting, you will not want to stop. I don't want to stop. And, and we're not going to stop house sitting, that's for sure. Um, Friday will be our last day in this house for this particular sit. We've house sat here so many times. And, um, and after that, we'll have the weekend and then we start the new house sit the following, well, next week actually. And then from there, I think we're going to chill. But I think the next video I will also share with you, well, I'll share with you how we're using house sitting right now. It's not just a travel. This is a local house sit, but um, I'm going to share with you uh, a little bit about what I do because we both work. We have full-time jobs and we house sit at the same time, but now that we're house sitting a little bit more, I'm going to tell you why we're house sitting more locally and how this is changing the game for me um, mentally and physically. So I'm going to get to, you know, that that is going to be the next live, how I'm using house sitting in a different way uh, now that we're back here based and, you know, going about our daily lives. So if you have any questions, please leave a comment, leave that question in the comment section. Um, if you would like for me to, I believe I can give you a discount. I believe it's 25% off of your first uh, membership with Trusted House Sitters because that's the service that uh, we use. And that's it. So I hope I have provided you value. I believe in house sitting. This channel, we're gonna talk about house sitting and we're gonna talk about travel, we're going to talk about live abroad, work abroad, and most of all, thrive abroad. I've done these things and so much more. I have, you know, I left this country at 21. I've been back in the States uh, for four years now, it's 2024 now. Um, I've lived and worked in Sweden, France, South Korea, and China. So so much to tell you. And uh, I'm going to share that with you on this channel. You're going to see a lot more of me and please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. That helps me out a great deal. And until next time, which might be in two days, <laughs> um, until next time, bye. And thank you so much for being here on the live. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye, Dr. Linda.